डिफरेंट स्टेट Welcome back time now for a quick round up of what else is making news down south On the 31st of December at a DMK event in Virugambakkam where DMK MP Kanimuri participated a 22 year old woman constable was reportedly molested by two DMK functionaries when the inspector tried to nab the two accused what happened was the DMK men gathered ruckus broke out they tried to stop the inspector from arresting the two and only after outrage from both the ADMK and the BJP 4 days after the incident first the party suspended the two of them after which the two of them were arrested but this only after outrage broke out governor arun ravi's statement that tamuragam is more appropriate than tamil nadu has not gone down well with the dmk the statement has sparked a controversy where the dmk says that governor is acting as a bjp neta while the bjp says that the dmk is doing so only for political mileage this is not the first time that both the dmk and the governor have been at loggerheads for the first time people from the oppressed community were allowed to enter the vardaraja perumal temple in kallakuruchi district many hailed this as a historic move remember no one from the oppressed community were allowed to enter the 100 year old temple for the past three generations and finally with the intervention of the district administration people from the adi dravida community finally entered the temple and offered their prayers DDP chief and Chandra Babu Naidu embarked on a door to door campaign drill in his constituency Kuppam where earlier this week clashes broke out in the wake of the government order banning road shows on state and national highways TDP says the draconian geo has been brought in to curtail their road shows but the people of Andhra Pradesh will continue to support them Nagan Reddy pan ayipoyindi inga inti boda karar ayipoyindi andike जनसे Telangana's Kamareddy district farmers are up in arms against the state government's master plan of setting up an industrial corridor in that area. Both BJP and Congress have hit out at the ruling Bharat Rashtra Samiti calling them anti-farmer. The Defence Ministry has set up a committee to look into the proposal of merging civilian areas under the Secunderabad Cantonment Board with the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. Now if this happens This will be a big victory for the BRS which has been saying that areas under the military zone have been completely deprived of development and this is something that the civilians there want from a long time. The reservation demands by various communities here in Karnataka has landed Chief Minister Basavraj Bommai in trouble. The Panchamasalis have rejected the new 2D status given to them by the government and have been demanding a reservation status equal to that of 2A. failing which have threatened to hold large scale protests in front of the CM's house at Shigao on the other hand the brahmin community has opposed the government's plan to increase the quota of the vokaligas and panchamasalis by diluting the EWS and called it an unconstitutional move the nia has arrested two individuals including an engineering student for their alleged involvement in shumaga islamic state conspiracy case probe has revealed that these two individuals were radicalized by mas munir a terror accused and received funds from isis handlers through crypto wallets in order to further their terrorist activities in the state the students of backward class and minority women's hostel here in rajarajeshwari nagar bengaluru have alleged of exploitation harassment and mistreatment by the hostel warden the students were allegedly made to clean toilets cook food and were cut off from access to electricity The students approached the taluk official but were threatened of getting their admissions cancelled if they raised their voice following which they got in touch with Soumya Reddy the Congress MLA who now has written a letter to Social Welfare Minister Kota Srinivas Pujari demanding a strict action against the warden and also the taluk official Kerala governor Arif Mohammad Khan hints at sending the bill which removes a governor as chancellor of state universities to the president 
The governor has also received legal opinion in this regard. The bill was passed by the Kerala Legislative Assembly in the last session. The face-off between the governor and the government continues. A hotelier was allegedly stabbed over an argument related to the quantity of sugar in tea. Subair, the customer who is also the accused, has been arrested by the police and Manav, the hotel owner, is undergoing treatment at the Kodikod Medical College Hospital. A flat owners association in Tiruvananthapuram has come out with certain bizarre rules which said that when uh, in flats where single females or single males are staying, no one from the opposite sex other than blood relatives should enter the flat. We have along with us one of the tenants here. Uh, so when was this notice posted? Were you all informed about this? Did your owners have any problem? Can you just explain to us what really happened? So the notice was issued on 3rd of January and uh, none of our owners were informed about, about it and uh, no meetings were held with us with us residents also so we feel like this is a total violation of our rights as tenants uh, they are denying as a privilege to have a space of our own that's what we feel and our owners are okay with us staying it's just the association that is making the trouble time for some entertainment news now the much awaited varis movie trailer has been released which has created a lot of buzz here in south india the movie stars Talapati Vijay in the lead role. We leave you with this part of the trailer. Thanks for watching. Ma, yalla yadamu, namma yadanda. In business. Always be alert. Nalla vetta karan ke kandla mandu bolndaalo, kandla torandeda arkalo.